Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. For those of you who are familiar with my videos, you'll know that I talk about any and anything. And for those who are not familiar with my videos, I hope you find them interesting. And if you do, please subscribe, like and share. Today, um, I wanted to talk about the 700, and 700, how much is it? 770,000. 770,000 criminalized ganja smokers who will have their records expunged, which means cleaned, deleted, and oh, I can't believe it. When marijuana is legalized, this is the bad news, in Illinois, America, in January 2020. Now, when I was reading that, the first thing I thought to myself is, why can they um, legalize marijuana in one state and not in another or in a different country? How come it's legal in, say, Amsterdam, but it's not legal in the UK? It's not legal in New York. It's not legal in New Jersey. I came to the conclusion that the reason why they don't want to legalise marijuana is that they lose too much money. I mean, just to think, I think it is 70%, don't quote me on that, of um, drug offences is to do with weed. Minor possessions, all the penalties, all the fines, all the criminalisation is to do with weed. So, if they were to legalise it, how are they going to get their dosh? How are they going to criminalise black youths or black men or anyone who smokes marijuana? How are they going to imprison them and deport them if marijuana is made legal? They won't be able to. And that is why certain parts, because in Illinois, 72% of the population is Caucasian. No threat. I think 14% is one, 14% is black, and the rest are Asian and Hispanic. So I guess they don't feel threatened in Illinois, but they feel threatened in UK in the UK where they you know where they are biased against black people and biased and they use ganja smoking as an excuse to have something over them because you have to admit. The majority of people who smoke weed are black. I mean, you have a massive amount of white people who smoke weed, but then they tend to go on to the harder stuff. So, anyway, let me give you a few statistics. Um, this came out on the 4th of June, which is just a couple of weeks ago. Illinois just became the un unofficial 11th state in the nation to legalize marijuana for recreational use. New York and New Jersey have been fighting, yeah, right, to put cannabis legislation on the books, but they need, but they need it. Well, that's my little bit. I won't say that bit. But they've been trying, apparently, to get it legalised. Um, Illinois approved what is considered the most progressive cannabis law in the nation in early June 2019. Not only does this legislation of cannabis give adults 21 and older the freedom to purchase marijuana through retail outlets, wow, but it also is the first of its kind in history of this decade-long movement to include provisions designed to correct problems stemming from the misguided principles of prohibition. All that simply means is that it, there's been such a load of nonsense about marijuana, weed, cannabis, a rose by any other name is still a rose. And what Illinois is has proved, and I doubt if they'll be the trendsetter, is that it's a load of tosh. The law in Illinois, which is set to take effect in January 2020, comes with a plan to expunge the criminal records of about 770,000 people convicted of minor pot offences. Pot is also another word for it. Um, but can you imagine 
if they was to expunge the records of everybody that they had in the jails or on the streets or in detention centers because of weed smoking. I'm not talking about selling weed and drug, drug dealing. I'm just talking about people who smoke weed for their recreational use. Can you imagine if they expunged all those records, how much non-criminals we would have who are black? I mean, when they're talking about the criminal numbers of black people, they're including minor pot offences. And if those were taken out, you'd see a drastic, drastic drop in the criminal numbers. Um, it also creates opportunities for minorities to capitalise on the new cannabis trade war. Can you imagine them can even sell it in Illinois? Giving them points towards licensing for living in oppressed areas. So they, they can even get a license if they're in an oppressed area. They would never do that in the UK. Is this a significant first step in the right direction? Hmm. By committing funds to remove past marijuana-related convictions, the state has prior prioritised equity and the removal of barriers that prevent people from moving forward in their lives. Robert Rooks, Vice President of Alliance for Safety and Justice, said, that's what he said. My intonation was a bit off there. Um, we are said in a statement, we are proud to advocate for this important change and implore and applaud Illinois leaders for their attention to reform that ensures to a reform that ensures fairness and safety for communities that bore the disproportional brunt of the drug war. I'll read that again because I fumbled. By committing funds to remove past marijuana-related convictions, the state has prioritised equity and the removal of barriers that prevent people from moving forward in their lives, Robert Rooks, Vice President of Alliance for Safety and Justice, said in a statement. We were proud to advocate for this important change and applaud Illinois leaders for their attention to, ref to a reform that ensures fairness and safety for communities that bore the disproportionate brunt of the drug war. I've got something from Associated Press here that says New York and New Jersey were supposedly the next to legalise weed, but the inability to reach an agreement on social and criminal justice issues, not to mention taxes, are mostly to blame because, of course, places like New York and New Jersey, similar to UK, they want to capitalise on it. And they want to be able to tax it and they don't know how they're going to legalise it and, and monitor it so they get all their money. They want to make, they need to be able to, oh, that's my little two bits in. <laughs> Sometimes I should put what I put in in red. Anyway, the best, the best. The best the state can offer its residents at this moment is an upgrade to its medical marijuana, which is what they've done in the UK programme. The goal is to add around 100 more cannabis businesses to the New Jersey marketplace so that businesses benefit. And they're going to be white, rich businessmen who are going to exploit cannabis that comes usually from the West Indies grown by the hands of our lovely fellow black men and they want it so they can exploit it and sell it as a medical in medical terms and you know how much they'll charge for that they'll probably make it into some kind of oil charge an arm and a leg for it <sighs> but what can we do we have no control over these processes New York guaranteed the state was going to legalise weed in 2019, especially since Governor Cuomo proclaimed a need for legal weed post-haste. He planned to revamp the system that for far too long targeted the African American and minority communities by legalising the adult use of recreational marijuana once and for all. But then the lawmakers, business groups, black leaders could not come to a mutual agreement. So, yeah, I guess the lawmakers, they're thinking about how, how, you know, how 
at what point can it does it become criminal business groups how are we going to make the money and black leaders do they really want to promote something that could be detrimental to their community a report if abused a report from crane chicago business indicates that the land of lincoln will have one of the most lucrative cannabis markets in the United States. It is a cash cow that is expected to grow in upwards of 20 times larger than its medicinal sector, creating tens of thousands of new jobs and generating revenue to the tune of 1.6 billion annually. So my dear, there you have it. Cannabis is okay if you can control it, if you know who's smoking it, if you if you can exploit it, and it's absolutely fine. If they can make more from it by legalizing than they do by keeping it a criminal offense, then maybe they'll change the law in the UK, New York, and New Jersey. But until such time, we'll have to look to places like Illinois, and if you're a ganja smoker, I don't know if you can go over there and live, but hey, I say it, girl. That's all for now. Bye-bye.